everybody, and welcome one and all back to some more. I forgot that was shut. That's not what I mean. Uh, welcome one and all back to some more Dislight Patch Notes. Yes, for those that don't know, we read patch notes over here. Why is Discord open? For those that don't know, this is where I read patch notes because the developers give me something to do that involves reading patch notes. Now, it's currently 1.42 because my whole entire system, my, my whole body clock is a bit out of whack today. Because I woke up at 12 in the morning and I was like, crap, I must have fallen too much into a sleep. And yeah, apparently I did. Woke up and did that. Alright, so without further ado, uh, I read patch notes on my phone, by the way, because I don't like having multiple screens on. Plus, that's a reason. Also, another thing I'm going to mention right now while I'm fighting these uh, patch notes. In the last video I did, uh, Zanny Channel another person I work alongside, uh, they asked me to turn up my mic. Uh, I just want to be clear about this, but I don't use any cool mics or weird things and all, because they're far too expensive for my tastes. Okay. And I use the Realtek built-in microphone that the computer comes with. So, it might be turned up in the editing software, but that's the best I could do as in volume for my um, patch notes videos. Anyways, it's time to read some uh, Sims 3 patch notes. Sims can no longer steal subway stations. No, it's Kleptomaniac Sims can no longer steal subway station. I, I still find that funny, like the patch notes video. Just, anyway, uh, right. <clears throat> we'll be taking Dislike offline for a short time on May 23rd. That's a Tuesday, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, Tuesday. So they're closing it on Tuesday just to get the vans rate. All right. Two. Hold on. I don't know if that's the Baki bird, or which is a wall bird, or a kookaburra. No, I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> As I was saying before a flock of pigeons took off, uh, Dislike's going to be closed on May 23rd which is the Tuesday, to improve the game, level 5 players will always receive 200 Nexus Crystals once the game reopens. Uh, if it's delayed, you get 100 Nexus, additional Nexus Crystals per hour. Uh, servers may resume earlier or later if necessary. Pay attention to time, because you may not be able to sign in during that time, because they go off a certain time zone. Anyways, we've got the new Espers. We have Martio, who is Prometheus. Uh, Martio is a fighter who can enhance the team's ability to perform multi-stage attacks. Okay. Uh, ability 1 is Blast Burn. Are we taking moves names from Pokemon? Because that's another one. I mean, Ife's entire moveset is the, around freaking Pokemon because she has these moves. She has Tail Whip. Uh, she also has Gust, and she also has Sludge Bomb. Three moves for Pokemon. So we're taking another one, okay, which is Blast Burn. I wonder why. Actually, here's a dumb question. If Charizard were added to Pokemon, not Pokemon, into Dislight, would you get him? I probably would, because it's Charizard. But he's, like, I mean, come on. I, I doubt it, because Nintendo's defensive on their ways. Anyway. Uh, deals one, okay, deals damage to one enemy two times based on attack. Each hit has a chance of inflicting Spark for two turns and dispelling buffs. Oh, great. So we got a new status element. Again! Uh, ability 2 is Fire Pillar. Deals one damage to one enemy two times based on attack. Inflicts diseased on and defense down for two turns. So another character... Oh, wait, no. What am I thinking? Seer is the move I'm thinking about. Anyway. Uh, each speed increase damage by a certain percentage of attack after ascension. If the enemy already has spark before attacking, Matteo gains some stacks of eternal flame. Oh, great. Another thing. Ability 3! Fire Punch. There's another one! May Matteo gain some stacks of elemental flame. Inflict spark on one enemy for two turns. Then deals damage to the enemy three times based on attack. Each hit steals enemy buffs. Great. Upon successfully stealing, grants Matios some stacks of elemental flame. Each speed increases damage by a certain percentage of attack each time. Healing is received. God damn it. Matio gains one stack of eternal flame. 
Eternal Flame is undispellable. Each stack increases attack and reduces damage taken. Taking a critical hit removes several stacks. Stackable with a limit. Makes sense. I mean, he's broken. Like, no, uh, anyway. Spark. When the carrier takes a critical hit, increases Mario's AP and deals de extra damage to the carrier based on Mario's attack. Won't miss. Let a crit hit or trigger an elemental boon. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we got resonances. I've done an entire video on these, by the way, so if you want to go find it, good luck. I forgot the title. Anyway. Uh, Fire Punch gets Overload. Fire Punch Morph. New effect. Fire Punch if hit. the enemy has Spark. Mario's crit is guaranteed, because it's 100%. Uh, Blessing is all base stats go up by 15%. Berserk. Berserker Drain. Lifesteal by 15%. When below 60%. Uh, aura is the same, and Fire Punch Morph 2, do effects. Fire Punch, if Matteo has 10 or more stacks of Elemental Flame, and there is a surviving teammate at the end of his turn, Matteo gains standoff for a turn. Oh, you've got to be joking. Anyway, uh, he's going to be, oh, he's going to be added on May 18th. We found that Matteo's Fire Punch Morph 2 can cause Matteo to be unkillable, in certain cases. So, the effect will now only take effect when allies are alive. So, he's going to be added on May 18th. That's... T that's... T so, hang on. Is that... That's today! What? I don't understand what's going on. Anyway, uh, apart from that, you can get it from the Echo after this update. That's today! Why is it today, though? Unless they made an error. Anyways, we're going to move on to uh, Yamato, who is Izanagi, which is wind. Uh, Yamato is a support with the ability to grant allies buffs and deal a fair amount of damage. Ability 1 is Death Grasp. Deal damage to one enemy. Two times, again. Base on attack and max HP. Each hit has a chance of inflicting stun for a turn. Okay. Ability 2 is Thunder Surge. Deals damage to all enemies three times. Base on attack and max HP. Each hit has a chance of inflicting buff blocker for two turns. Consumes all stacks of Rashomon to deal extra true damage. Oh, great. Which is based on the target's max HP and does not exceed a certain percentage of Yamato's max HP. After Ascension, absorbs the target's AP and distributes it evenly across all allies upon a crit. Ability 3 is Abyssal Crossing. I think we have seen that, and that's the giant hand that comes out of the ground and grasps. That's Abyssal Crossing. Uh, grants all allies attack up and defense up for two turns. Yamato gains several Rashomon stacks based on the number of buffs on all allies. Rashomon, each stack increases the crit rate, stackable with a limit. Makes sense. We have the Resonances. Overload, again. From the Surge Morph. Thunder Surge AP Absorption can't be resisted. Completed Ascension Phase 3 required. Uh, blessing. We have Expulsion. I think that's a new one. Wild Expulsion is, I think, a new one. I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, Wild Expulsion. Upon a crit, 20% chance of dispelling one buff from the target. Okay, that is an interesting one. Uh, ability 5 is Aura, and Ability 6 is... Or Resonance 6 is cro the Abyssal Crossing Morph. New effect. Abyssal Crossing gains an extra turn. Great. Uh, source. The Esper can only be... Oh, this Esper can only be acquired from Emergency Request while Celestial Anomaly is on. He will be added to Echo after the event has closed for some time. Oh, great. But now we have Juan Pin. Uh, the five-star Shimmer. Juan Pin is a support who can grant allies powerful buffs. Ability 1 is Strategic Pieces. Deals 1 damage to enemy based on attack. Increases AP for allies with Horse and Chariot. Horse and Chariot is a P... Oh, jeez. Uh, ability 2 is Heavy Cannonade. That sounds like a drink. But that doesn't sound tasty. Uh, select 1 ally. Uh, grants them cannon for a turn. That must be another chess piece. That must be another shogi piece. 
Increases their AP, deals damage to all enemies based on attack, inflicts the fit staff for two turns. This builds their shield. Okay. Checkmates! Or Chogi. But checkmates. Uh, grants one stack of soldier. I'm gonna do a lot of research on Shogi, don't I? <laughs> grants one stack of soldier to all allies. Grants horse to two allies with the highest attack for two turns. Deals damage to all enemies based on attack. Deals extra two true damage based on the enemy's max HP. Doesn't exceed a certain percentage of Dragon Pin's attack. Inflict miss rate for two turns. At the start of combat, Join Pin gains general. Great, more pieces. And grants one stack of soldiers to all teammates, excluding her. After Ascension, grants all allies attack. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, And there's so many words. All right. Here we go. We've got a whole bunch of pieces to read. So we have General, which is probably King. When Dwayne attacks, calls in one random teammate with Soldier, excluding her, to assist and grant one them one stack of Soldier. Clears horse, cannon, chariot, and soldier from the ally upon death. Okay. And this is dispellable. Undispellable. Uh, chariot is undispellable as well. All these are undispellable, by the way. Increases attack and speed. Gain one stack of soldier when this effect expires. Cannon! Deals damage to... Ignores a certain percentage of defense. Gain stun when this effect expires. Horse! Amplifies damage dealt. The higher the target's base HP, the more damage is applied limited this effect does not work when the target is at an elemental advantage it doesn't say anything about when it expires so it's probably a permanent thing soldier each stack increases attack when this effect is at full stacks converts it into chariot for two turns i try finding individual pictures of every single piece that i mentioned but it was a headache to find them all so i found the wiki that explained shogi Look how many freaky pieces there are. There's that, plus promotional pieces. Or promotion. Shogi's just a harder, more complex version of chess. In my opinion. <sighs> I've got a headache now. Because of just this. But somebody tells me I'll never get this character anyway, so... Great! Yay for me! Cannot gain soldier when having general or chariot stackable with a limit. Alright, checkmate overload is resident one. Heavy cannonade morph. Change heavy cannonade. Uh, the carrier of cannon no longer gains stun when the effect expires. That's OP, but it's probably impossible to get because she's a shimmer character. Uh, blessing. Hasty action. This is, I think, a new... No, it's not. Okay, uh, hasty action is resident four. Uh, oh no, it might be a new one, never mind. Uh, I'll just read it anyways. Hasty action. If there is an enemy, an ability on cooldown, speed plus 20%. Well, speed plus 20. Aura, and then general morph. Change checkmate. A new effect is added to general. Grants one stack of soldier to all teammates, excluding her, at the end of Drampin's turn. Uh, she'll be added to echo after this update. Oh great, so we have another shimmer character... And just so we all know, I haven't seen a single Shimmer character that's a legendary for a very long time. I think the last one was Raven. So knowing my logic, I probably won't be getting her. Oh, and I just, oh no, I got shuffled. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm making it. Okay, here we go. Uh, new features. Added Celestial Anomaly. One looks at the clearing, chapter 12, 16. Um, on Purgatory Mode? I haven't even started that! Uh, the theme of Celestial Anomaly, S1, is the Wimmering Flame. This season has three phases, with the, la with the first phase being unlocked in this version. The Celestial Anomaly contains combat, power-up supply, advanced strategy, emergency request, strategic fund, and event tasks. By participating in these activities, you can acquire the limited Esper Yamato Izanagi, non-Shimmer Legendary Esper Ripples, limited range and self-selected Shimmer Records, and other growth materials. Are you saying that I have to get 
through purgatory difficulty on that. I haven't even beaten hard. I'm lazy. Why are you making it harder for me, developers? Did I offend you in some way, shape, or form? Don't answer that question, because I'm pretty sure I did, in a way. <sighs> Alright, combat. In this season, the Miracle Boss, Chimera, and three Miracle Messengers will appear. After the update, the Boss Chimera's first form and the Withering Messenger will be unlocked to you to challenge. Points will be calculated based on the damage you dealt to the Miracle Boss. You will get a corresponding reward based on your best record in a single challenge. Additionally... Points will be ranked on the group and world leaderboards, offering generous reward event rewards based on your ranking. Each phase of the Miracle Boss has a different form. Points determine rewards and ranking for each event phase calculated independently. Miracle Messengers will unlock one by one as the phases progress. Each Messenger contains 150 floors of stages and offers rewards such as Chromarks, Divide Essence, and Non-Shimmer Legendary Esper Ripples. Okay. Clearing the stages will also enhance the quality of the resonance generated by the power supply. Advanced Strategy. Advanced Strategy contains Strength Points and Tactics Points, which can be upgraded using Divide Essence. Upgrading these points will provide various buffs for battles against Miracle Messengers and Miracle Bosses. Divine Essence can be obtained by clearing Miracle Messenger from, or from Power Supply and Quests. Power Supply. The Power Supply generates AFK rewards gradually over time, which can be used to enhance combat buffs in Advanced Strategy. The quality of the Power Supply resources improve based on the floor of the Miracle Messenger that you have cleared. The higher the floor, the better the reward resource quality. Emergency Request. You can use chromarks obtained from Miracle Messenger stages to perform an emergency request, though the emergency request you have a chance to get exclusive keepsakes for a limited Esper Yamato Izanagi. Elemental records and other materials, the next request guarantees a keepsake if no Esper keepsakes are obtained in consecutive requests. For item acquisition probabilities, please view contract probabilities of the Emergency request page. Collect and consume eight different Esper keepsakes to sign a contract. When the contract is complete, you can acquire the Esper directly and unlock the next round of contracts. You will not obtain the keepsakes in one round. Unused Esper keepsakes will vanish at the end of each Celestial Anomaly phase. Event tasks. During the event, quests related to Celestial Anomaly that offer the Divine Essence as a reward will be added to the quest. Quest. Strategic Fund. You can re receive multiple fund rebates of participating in the Celestial Anomaly and purchasing different phases of Strategic Funds. Added new portraits for Joan for Jacob. Jacob? Jormungar. Okay. Joan Pin, Matteo, and Yamato, which are level 50. Added the Esper name cards. These require the all the Espers, which are Ma Matteo, Yamato, and Yuhiro Pin, to be max of everything. Added solos and diaries for Yamato and Yuhime. Okay. Added ultimate spire rankings. Frames for each fate. Okay. New event: Immortal Fire. Oh my goodness! In Ukgard, where power and card. Conspiracy intertwine, will Matteo be able to overcome his obstacles and protect the city? This unlocks at level 416 on easy. New gameplay and maps, missions, Myro and Myrobon wave event will be unlocked during this the event. Uh, players can join these activities and acquire gold chips to clear stages and platinum chips. Gold chips and platinum chips were used to exchange for wi flow, wind, inferno packs. Shimmer Eper, Epic Espers, okay, that are available in Echo and already owned by the player. Shimmer Records, Legendary, Billamon, Gold Records, and other rewards. The event kit map contains three chapters. Thank you for not making it five, because I hated it. All right, so this could be simple. Good. I can manage it. That's what I like. I like managing things easily, not in a headache. 
Uh, endless snow fields, icy flames, and enduring will. Of which, enduring will will unlock on the second day of the event. And I could also sort all these videos out. And I can actually put all of the files in the right files. Meaning I could actually work correctly. Unlike the last one, which was like 55 files and everything was in one. Uh, okay. Maramon Wave. In Maramon Wave, you can earn rewards like Shimmer Records, Gold Records, and Win Records by reaching required player ratings, diversion rankings, and world rankings. Also, play a role in top players of this diversion can earn legendary Belmont, Gold ne Records, Nexus Crystals, and additional rewards. Various event modes are available during the first two weeks. For the last three days, the event will be closed. Uh, a new recreation tower theme will be unlocked during the event, where you can choose from random expert projections for fight. I've already talked about this in the last patch notes, but I will be doing a video covering the um, Prometheus one. Uh, we'll be covering the next one. Alright. Uh, limited time echo event for Matteo, Prometheus, and Zora. Okay. Why is my nose bleeding? Hopefully, I scratched the spot up. Okay. Uh, the event offers a special chance to summon Martio and Zora for spins. Wish stones, we already know. Uh, wish stones can be obtained through drawing from gold. Oh, it's the same thing. Wish stones. Low time probability up event for Juan Pin in Echo Shimmer. Great. So I rarely get shimmer records. I need to start stockpiling shimmer resources for like. A lot nowadays, because I think it's a lot harder to get shimmers than you think, and I haven't seen one in a long time. And then now, now there's a powerful one. I probably won't be getting it. Uh, after the change, upon acquiring a shimmer legendary esper, chance of obtaining giant pin is increased by fifty percent. Okay. Uh, optimizations and adjustments add a guarantee mechanic to probability up esper acquisition in the Echo Shimmer Pool. If the player has already designated a probability of Esper, but does not obtain the Shimmer Legendary card of that Esper, then the next time a probability of Esper is designated, the obtained Shimmer Legendary Esper will be a currently the currently selected Esper. The guarantee mechanic will rewind and begin its effect on the spin progress before the update. Okay. Optimized point wars. Power of the opponent defensive formation will be displayed. Tap the opponent's avatar to view more info. Frame and name cards will be displayed on the gameplay screen. Tapping the player's avatar on the leaderboard screen will display personal info, including their defensive formations. The requirement to five claim victories for the unlocking quick battle session has been removed. Good. I'm sick of punching things every five minutes. Frame will be displayed on the gameplay screen. The defensive formation will be deployed automatically if no formation has been set. Players can convert materials directly when viewing Staramon details in the inventory. Players can still purchase random wish stickers in the friendship shop even after reaching the acquisition limit for wish stickers of any elemental class in the club. Players will, not, will only lose a wish sticker if they have reached the storage limit of for randomly obtained stickers. Oh, great. So, that's an interesting one. Uh, battle results obtained through Blitz in the Desolate Lands will also be re recorded in the squad space. Okay. Players can instantly claim rewards for all completed tasks on the E-Pass... E the refresh cooldown for claiming DJ concert rewards will be reduced to 23 hours. That's not a difference. That just reduces an hour, I think. But we're done with the patch notes. And there's just one thing I want to say. Right now about the freaking gimmick of the Chimera. Why, developers? You're just making me get pissed off! 
Because now, I have to make an effort in getting through Purgatory. Because I was going to wait until I bothered to do all the hard ones. Now I've got a reason to do Purgatory. And it's just an excuse to make videos. <sighs> I think, no, Hell is difficult. If you add something in the game that I really want to do, and it's in the Hell difficulty, I'm going to really punch a cat. And then get a bunch of scratches on my eyes. And, you know, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Anyways, it is currently 208. 208. I haven't had lunch yet. I was busy recording for the past hour, well, two hours, and here we are. And that's going to be it for patch notes for today. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to some patch notes for this light. If so, hit the like button, subscribe, bell icon, leave a comment down below. And tell me this. How far are you going through the... What is your best Esper through, through the blazing... What was it called again? Uh, blazing... Flaming Echoes. Which is where you can draw up to six random legendaries. So far, I've gotten a new one. And it's Pan. But he won't be the one that probably will be chosen yet. I'll figure that out once I get to that and all. Anyways, we're done with these episodes. And one last thing. If any of the developers watch this video, what is the chances of adding new DJ concerts? Because I would love to see that in like a future update where you add some more DJ concerts. Or is it just an extinct like gimmick at this stage? Anyway, uh... Oh, I think the Maggie's in the backyard. Okay. Uh, right, I'll go have lunch. I'll see you all later. I've got to go tame the freaking noisy peewee.